These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love, holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you together build your future. And these are the hands that will hold you tight and give you strength when you need it, like right now, <laughs> and in more difficult times. <laughs> hold on tight. <laughs> Last night there was a very small gathering, a few people under a small tent and it was just unbelievable. At the end of the night, we told Adam we're heading in. It's been perfect. Today was perfect. God bless. Welcome to Cadillac, Michigan. Adam. I have been looking forward to this day since I was a little girl, and I'm not talking about the wedding, although this is stunning. I have been looking forward to finding the one that God made for me, and here you are. Exactly eight years ago today, on June 19th, 2013, at 2.51 p.m., you messaged me on... <laughs> You messaged me on Facebook through mutual friends. A few hours later, we exchanged numbers, and as they say, the rest was history. Katie, over the past few years, I have felt your love and support more than I could ever imagine from a relationship. I'm so grateful for your heart, your laugh, your smile, and most of all, your love. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely the best thing that's ever happened to me. And while you don't always accept it, I hope today you realize how beautiful you are. I did it! I did it! I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you more. There are many things in life that make me happy, but seeing you happy is my favorite thing. I love the joy you get from opening a present, <laughs> eating a slice of pizza, <laughs> swimming, <laughs> and talking to all the animals you see. <laughs> I, I promise to always make your happiness a priority in our marriage. From that day since, I remain of awe of the person that you are. You have not only given my heart a home, but you've given it space to grow and flourish. Adam, just like our trips up north to the lakes, out east to the cities, south through the mountains, or west into the ocean, I know that when I am with you, I am where I am meant to be. So let's start a fire. I want to keep you warm. Come and strike up the choir. Throw open all the doors. Oh, I look slow and high, and I've never been so sure. I am yours. Won't you? I first heard about Adam during a trip to New York City uh, for Danny's bridal shower about six years ago. Our last night in New York, when we were back in the hotel, I asked you to tell me more about Adam. And I remember without hesitation you telling me, Sissy, it's always been Adam. He's the one. I bring up her name all the time. You know, he'd talk about his plans to go see her, the plans of the trips that they were taking, New York. Uh, you know, the, the conversations that they had, and it was like pretty clear pretty early on that she was uh, very special to him. You were so sure about him then, just like we're all so sure about your future together now. Katie, I could not imagine someone more perfect for you to share your life with. 
Katie and Adam would regularly come and visit my husband and I in New York City for Adam's birthday in February. I'll never forget Adam showing up with this weird shaped suitcase. And I asked him, Adam, what is that? Adam so casually responded, oh, this is my trumpet. so earnest and sincere. I turned to Katie and I said, don't you dare mess this up. It is the realization that there is no one else in this world that you would rather be with than the one you're married to.